Turns out that there is a NaNoWriMo going on in April. That's right, apparently Camp NaNoWriMo is happening in April. So I guess my gut instinct was right and it just decided, you know what? April's the writing month. Today I'm going to start on step one of the snowflake template. Basically you start off with one sentence to describe your story and then you build off of that. So the single sentence will turn into a synopsis and then it will get even more complex and turn into an outline. There's actually a website I'm going to link down below called advancedfictionwriting.com where you can get more info on this. Alright, so without further ado, here's the first step. Take an hour and write a one sentence summary of your story. Obviously I'm not going to take an hour in this video, um, my internet would literally die if it had to upload an hour long video, so I'm going to try to cut this as short as possible. Step one doesn't sound too hard, but fitting a plot into one sentence, that's a little bit tricky. This is pretty much the same idea as the elevator pitch. They talked about this all the time in my game design courses. Basically, you have to imagine you're in an elevator with a potential investor or publisher or someone who can get your story or idea launched. You have to come up with the pitch that will get this person's attention in about a minute or however long it takes to get to that person's floor because that's when your opportunity is over. In a game design document, for example, you start off with a high concept. This is typically more than one sentence because you have to talk about the gameplay as well as the narrative, if there is any narrative. So to create this sentence, I'm going to first take a look at my characters that I have. I'm going to use four characters from this lineup. The protagonists are Pam, Teo, Jada, and Arden. Pan is the narrator of the story, which means it's all from his point of view. I'm going with first person here, that's just my writing style and something I've always done, and changing it would be kind of weird at this point. I've tried third person before, but for this story, it just doesn't feel right. As for the villain's identity, that's sort of a part of the mystery of the plot, so I'm keeping that to myself. For now. Let's talk about the world real quick and just a brief review. So before I talked about the guilds, which were Selk, Dula, Anwin, and Grindel, and they rule over parts of the city and they're trying to get energy from the maze lands. So I'm gonna have to fit all of this in the one sentence. I'm gonna see which one makes the most sense, has the best flow, and just kinda has a nice ring to it. Um, if, it, if this is your high concept, it's kind of got to be like the golden pitch. You just got to, it's got to hit people in the right places. That sounds really violent, but you know what? Some things just get a little messy. Uh, don't hit people in real life. Don't ever do that. Uh, prison is a real bad place. I've never been because I don't get caught, which is because I don't hit people. Ever. No. Pan doesn't know what happened before he started training to fight in the maze lands with the Selk. But the notes he finds every morning in his shoe seem to know more than he does about his past and the dangers that lie in the future. So one thing I like about this is that this sentence does tie in a lot of the world building aspects, however it only focuses on one character. Let's go to the next one. The four of us tried to avoid the deadly job of collecting watts from the maze lands, but that changed when the King of Thieves started paying us for a few watts borrowed from our guild. So this one's a little bit more catchy than the last one. I like that it focuses on all the characters, and it I like the way it sounds when the characters are talking to the reader, especially on the back of books, it's like they're pulling you in. However, pitching the sentence to someone in the elevator may be a bit awkward and you may sound a little bit creepy. So I'm gonna try a third time and maybe I'll get it just right then. 
Pan, Arden, Jada, and Teo were all drafted into the Selk Guild, but then they found an old shipwreck on the Mazelands with secrets that can only be revealed by stealing Watts from their own guild. I think I like the balance between the setting and the characters the best in this sentence. However, I still feel like it needs a little bit of tweaking. It's still a bit of a mouthful. Okay, so that's going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to get into just basic character descriptions, and then the next day I'm going to go into a more detailed synopsis of my plot. If anyone has any tips or feedback they'd like to give, that's always welcome in the comments below. Also, um, thanks for the comments so far. I know it's not a lot, but I mean, even one or two kind of helps keep me motivated. So thanks a lot for watching, and as always, I don't know how to end videos, so here's my dog. She's adorable. <laughs>